Hi everyone, I'm Eunice, and for my video assignment for Biogeography of Valencia, I have chosen the research article titled The Taxonomic Status, Distribution and Conservation of the Lowland Anoa Bubalus dipresicornis and the Mountain Anoa Bubalus qualesi. Anoas are dwarf buffaloes endemic to the Indonesian island of Sulawesi and offshore islands as well. They are the smallest of the bovini, standing about one meter tall at the shoulder. Two species are presently recognized, which are the lowland anoa and the mountain anoa. Both anoa species are classified as endangered by the IUCN. They are legally protected under Indonesian law and are included in Appendix 1 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. There is much debate over the taxonomic status and distribution of these two species. Sulawesi is situated within the Wallacea bioregion, renowned for its high level of endemism. Being at the boundary of Asian and Australasian biogeographical regions, Wallacea comprises a mix of the Asian and Australasian fauna and flora. It is still uncertain whether the two putative species are sympatric or parapatric in their distribution. It is still unclear if the anoas are currently living sympatrically or whether they are separated, for example, by altitude. Fossil and subfossil remains of anoas have been found in the Sulawesi recent faunas of late Pleistocene to Holocene age. Most species of anoa of Anoas were believed to be present throughout the island's forests in historic times. A number of theories have been proposed to explain the presence of two morphologically similar species on Sulawesi and to clarify the taxonomic uncertainty. These include environmental variations resulting from altitude and two separate immigrations. Two populations of Anoas were geographically separated for a period on two landmasses before Sulawesi was finally formed or after being split into smaller islands by rises in sea levels during the Pleistocene. Variation in climates may have produced may have reduced forest cover as well as led to forest fragmentation during the Pleistocene period. Isolation of Anoa populations and subsequent divergence thus giving rise to the two species taught to occur today. That's all for my presentation. Thank you!